Well guys, we're here. Just about to do the 15th night of the year on the river. Um, yeah, this afternoon can only be described as a nightmare. Poor Emma, you know. Went to the cash machine earlier and um, yeah, she needs to draw out 255 quid and um, we believe she actually walked away before she grabbed the money, so yeah, heartbreaking. But we know in the next 48 hours what happens about that. Um, whether it gets put back in her account or not. So fingers crossed no one took it without handing it in, but you never know. But yeah, I feel sorry for her. She's heartbroken over that, but um, yeah, we'll sort it out one way or another. Um, yeah, so we're here, uh, a bit later than usual. It's, um, luckily I've got some uh, rigs and that sorted out yesterday. Had some boat, put some baits on, tied a few PVA bags, that sort of thing, and uh, yeah, got the rods out quite quick actually. It's just gone up past five, and it's the usual autumn sort of look about it. Here we go, look at that, look, the leaves are definitely building up on the old water now. Yeah, yeah, leaves are showing that they're golden brown, they're starting to turn. Yeah, behind me there, look, again, golden brown, so. Yeah, I think it's, what is it, it's about the 12th today, I think, 12th, 13th of October. Yeah, and uh, like I say, we're going to keep going at it, we're going to try. You know, sometimes things get in the way and it ain't possible, but, you know, tonight, um, today, you know, we had that bit of uh, bad luck. Well, poor Emma did, and um, you know, sometimes you can't make the fishing, but you know, fishing ain't everything at the end of the day. But we're gonna try and get here every other day now. Um, yeah, because we just feel that, you know, when the rain comes back, this is gonna be knackered. Um, yeah, like I say, it's only been a, a night's gap between uh, now and the last night I've done. So uh, we're gonna try and carry on that. I don't know how long I'll be able to do that for. Um, because it does knack you out, without a doubt. Um, it wasn't so bad the last night, I've got managed, actually managed to get about five hours sleep, but um, yeah, sometimes on the river with bleeps and twitches of bream and all sorts in your swim, sometimes it's uh, it just ain't possible to get that much sleep, but still, fingers crossed, we've got to, we've got to keep going. Um, it'd be lovely to get one of them real, real good, real big fish. You know, I keep saying it, but that's why we're here at the end of the day. Um, as much as I love going through all the smaller ones as well, because, uh, you know, they really are, they're all different characters and that. You never know what's going to, uh, it's very exciting just waiting for a bite, you know. You ain't waiting for, you know, anything that's named to jump on your line. It's just, you know, see what happens when it happens. Um, yeah, but, you know, the usual usual bait it's putting out the asm and uh tier one monster particles over the top um they've been passing it massively where i've been putting it in um i didn't notice um until i got home uh, from the last night i've done that, that 17 common i had that was uh passing noticeably the particles that was passing them um so yeah they're they're coming in here and they're eating so We'll, we'll see what tonight brings. Um, bit of enough rigs tied. In a minute, I'm going to uh, make a cup of tea and uh, yeah, await developments. It's certainly looking more un autumnal now. Look at all them leaves. And yeah, you feel it in the air now as well. I definitely feel it in the air when it's, you know, it's building up to getting dark and it's. Uh, cooling off you can feel the temperature drop quite substantially now but yeah let's see how it goes
Yeah. Look at it in there, guys. Nice and cosy. Everything close to hand. Yeah. I've had a lot of people say to me, you're quite a big fella. How come you've got such a small bivvy? Well, to be honest with you, I don't want to be moving 300 yards to, you know, to get to this, to get to that. I want everything to reach from where I'm sat on the bed chair. And that, that, that's as simple as that. I don't, you know, I want everything to hand. Um, you know, whether it be Polaroids, binoculars, BBA, bait, whatever, I need it all to hand. I don't want to be walking around a bivvy. It's the last thing I want to be doing. I'll carry enough gear without worrying about big bivvies and all that. <laughs> Ducks over there this evening. Couldn't see them about that much, to be honest. Loads of midges as well. But yeah. Look at all them leaves. Autumn for you. But yeah. Fingers crossed. And the carpet pays a visit tonight. Get the kettle on, I suppose. That is a well needed cup of coffee today. What an afternoon. Well, guys, the night's drawing in. Fingers crossed for another one or two tonight. Boat traffic's still mental, that's what the waves are coming from. Look at that, absolute madness, even in the dark. Yeah, two going down, and four have just gone up, so they're due to come back down again. Mind you, we all know they all think we're mad as well, probably, so. You just gotta enjoy what you enjoy. happy days it's just gone one o'clock in the morning and uh, we've got our 30th river carp happy days let's get that sorted out well guys result 15th night 30th river carp of the year not a big fish, but another one. And still not one I'll recognise, which is good. Only a little one, but yeah, yeah, there you go. Happy days. Just goes to show that you can keep it, um, keep things going. If you put the effort in, keep the bait going in. They keep visiting, so it's all worth it. And hopefully that ultimate prize will come along in the end. Good times. Can't wait to see what comes along next. Let's get them back and get the rod sorted out. Good morning all, um, it's a good morning, um, yeah, one thing I've learned to in these uh, overnighters on the river, when I get a bite, 
in the real early hours. Five half five in the morning, I thought, oh, dear. Yeah, look, I've got bags under my eyes, not pillows this morning. Had a cut of bream in the night. And I had another common, I haven't weighed it, it's in the sling. It's probably around about mid to upper double, um, 15, 16 I reckon. Somewhere about there, I'm not going to weigh it because I've pushed, pushed the time now, I've overlaid, got, got to get gone soon for work. But yeah, another good night, another two carp, um, yeah. Keep going through them, hopefully that they're going to turn up. I'm going to try my hardest to uh, come again in two nights time, uh, put another good help in a bait out before I go. But yeah, it's uh, it's tough, it really is tough. You know, it's, it's only the first time I've done a night, you know, with only one night's uh, break from the last one. Um, it's definitely going to be tough. I feel knackered this morning, but you've got to give it a go. And uh, like I say, I'm pushing it for work, so uh, I've got to get it sorted out in a minute and get gone. It's about 20 past seven now, and uh, yeah, it's not ideal. I need to be away for eight, that ain't gonna work. But we've got another, another result. Um, yeah, well pleased with that. Another one, but again a common night. You know, two. You know, the last two nights running now, two commons each night. But at least fish are visiting the area. That's the main thing. I put some more bait in there, so they see some bait on the way through tonight, and then hopefully I'll, I'll stand another good chance when I'm here uh, in two nights' time. Well. have to have a good sleep. It's a good sleep tonight to be able to do that, I think. But, um, I'm definitely going to try our hardest. But yeah. Yeah, the mix of uh, ISM and particles is definitely, definitely doing it. Right. Enough waffling. Let's get her sorted out. Yeah. Slightly different shape, on it. and uh, if I'd lost this one, I would have thought I'd lost a big one. It went off like an absolute train. But yeah, buzzing that. Another nice, immaculate comment. Right. If you like the video guys, think about subscribing, um, by all means give us a thumbs up, um, follow me, Adam Carp Honeyset on Instagram, or Adam Honeyset on Facebook, one thing's for sure, we're going to try and keep the ball rolling, we're going to have a night's break tonight, and then come out again the following night, and uh, yeah, see if we can uh, get some more on that forever hunt for a big one. Yeah. Happy days. One thing's for sure, I'll be seeing you on the bank again soon. Thanks for watching guys. Tight lines, all the best.